Hello, my name is Bilal Sukka. In this video, I'm going to introduce the macro adoption concept. Macro adoption concept is translated into five interdependent videos. Each will be covered in a separate uh, short video. This uh, research has been conducted and is published in collaboration with Dr. Muhammad Qasim of Teesside University. There is a link uh, to the published uh, peer-reviewed journal paper in the last slide. Please refer to it. So what is meant by macro and macro adoption models? Macro refers to certain scales within the organizational hierarchy model, which includes 12 scales. Now, the 12 scales uh, range from a global market to the top, uh, like number one here, to the organization member, which is the individual. When we refer to macro scales, we are really referring to the first seven. So it includes um, a, a global market, a defined market like a country, a sub-market like a region within a country, the industry, for example, construction industry, sector like design, construction, operation, discipline, um, similar to architectural discipline or structural discipline, and specialty like steel detailing within a structure. Now, so when we're referring to macro adoption models, we're really referring to uh, these seven scales. There's a, uh, if you like to review uh, BIM lenses, because organization scales is explained uh, as part of the BIM lenses video. Also, what is meant by adoption when we say in macro adoption uh, models? So when we say adoption, we are really referring to three uh, different things. We are referring to readiness, so um, readiness uh, to adopt, readiness to implement. So meaning a company or a, a market is ready to, uh, to adopt BIM. So it's the state before uh, really implementing BIM. And adoption also refers to implementation, the actual implementation. So let's say, for example, uh, uh, when a company is ready but hasn't really implemented, then there is implementation. So it buys the software, it conducts the training, and then develops the system, etc., and applies BIM. Uh, on a project, we call this implementation, but also adoption refers to a third concept, which is diffusion, which is the spread of uh, implementation. So of, if, if implementation within a country is done only by one country, we say it's not diffused, but when this uh, adoption uh, you know, is diffused across multiple organizations, um, we refer to this as diffusion. So, so we're having uh, readiness, implementation, and diffusion. All three together are referred to as adoption. And this will be covered in uh, the point of adoption model video in the future. Um, you can also refer to the point of adoption model entry uh, on the BIM framework uh, .info blog. So what are the, the five models that, uh, from A to E? So model A, called the diffusion areas model, um, clarifies how to measure the extent of BIM diffusion across markets. So meaning uh, we will cover this, of course, in detail later on, and you can jump directly to that video using the video link. It uses uh, BIM fields and BIM stages together uh, to allow the, the measurement of uh, BIM diffusion. The second model, or model B, called the macro maturity components, clarifies how to measure BIM diffusion. So it's got A components also will be covered in their separate video using this link. You can jump directly into it. Model C clarifies the dynamics of BIM diffusion, so how BIM diffuses uh, across markets. You can also jump to that model directly from here. The fourth model is the policy actions model which clarifies the approaches and activities con, you know, that can be um, taken by policy makers in order to facilitate uh, BIM adoption. Put sleep policy approaches and policy activities. You can jump directly using the link. And the last uh, uh, macro adoption model is uh, uh, model E, which is the diffusion responsibilities model, which clarifies the diffusion roles played by different stakeholders. You can jump directly to the model also using the link. If you like to read more about this topic uh, before jumping directly into the videos, please refer to the Macro BIM Adoption Conceptual Structures uh, um, journal paper uh, by clicking on the, the link here. And you can review BIM lenses by clicking on the video here. And please remember to subscribe. Thank you.